Hello everybody, my name is Elliot and welcome back to Advective Weather. Today we're going to be taking a look at Cyclone Freddy. So after making its nearly month long journey over the entirety of the South Indian Ocean, crossing over Madagascar and spending several days inland over Mozambique, Freddy has re-emerged into the Mozambique Channel and regenerated into a moderate tropical storm. Freddy's future track is fairly uncertain, however there is decent confidence that will, it will likely pass close to Madagascar as a severe tropical storm over the next two days or so and then head northward in the channel thereafter. Meteo France also expects it to re-intensify into a tropical cyclone in about three to four days. And although the long-term forecast is very uncertain at this time, northeastern Mozambique may also be at risk for impacts in about a week or so. Let's take a look at current conditions. As of 12 o'clock UTC today, which is March 4th, 2023, moderate tropical storm Freddy is located at 22.5 degrees south, 39.6 degrees east, and movement is eastward at about five knots. At this time, the JTWC estimates maximum 1 minute sustained winds of 40 knots, which is 75 kilometers an hour, and Meteo France estimates 10 minute sustained winds of 35 knots, which is 65 kilometers an hour, and a pressure of 995 millibars. Taking a look at the visible loop, we can see that Freddy's circulation is much better defined than it was over the past several days, and it now is convection over it, which indicates that shear has decreased significantly. This also implies that Freddy is favored to intensify as it continues its journey over the next several days over the Mozambique Channel. Here's the official forecast from Meteo France. As you can see, it has been meandering wildly over the past week or so, and is expected to become a severe tropical storm in short order, stalling near the southwestern coast of Madagascar over the next one to two days. As it heads north-northwestward, it is expected to regain tropical cyclone status, which is Meteo France's equivalent of hurricane status and should do so in about three to four days. And Mozambique is sort of within the cone of uncertainty at the end of the five day period as well, so we'll keep an eye on that. Taking a look at the weather models, the GFS and Euro do have fairly different solutions as to Freddy's future track. The GFS shows Freddy moving north-northwest, continuing as it makes landfall over Mozambique in about five days. The Euro, however, does keep it offshore Mozambique, although it does keep it very close to Madagascar for quite a long time, and as you can see, this does produce some very high rainfall totals for the Euro solution. And these totals should approach 150 millimeters in a lot of areas along the western coastline of Madagascar, and some of those areas in the southern part you can see have totals as high as 500 millimeters, so flooding may be a concern along the western coastline of Madagascar as we head into the next several days. Euro also does keep it alive through the entirety of the run, as you can see, it's still alive in 10 days, which would break Hurricane John's longevity record by several days if this does indeed verify. So what can you do to prepare for Freddy? Always follow official guidance for accurate and up-to-date estimates if you're at risk for cyclone impacts. For Cyclone Freddy, Meteo France and the Joint Typhoon Warning Center are issuing advisories on it. Meteo France is the regional specialized meteorological center for the area. They are the officials, and you should be using their cones for any official guidance. And if you don't know if you should evacuate or otherwise prepare, always consult your local officials. They know the best way to prepare for your area as they know the risk for your area, and you should always be looking to them if you have any questions. We'd also like to briefly mention that Cyclone Kevin did peak last night as a very high-end Category 4 cyclone, and Category 5 on the Australian scale, and is now weakening after its landfall over Vanuatu and its subsequent rapid intensification. Movement is about south east southeastward at about 25 knots at the moment, and it's located at 22.5 degrees south, 175.4 degrees east as of 12 o'clock UTC today. The JTWC currently estimates maximum one minute sustained winds of 120 knots, which makes it a high end category four on the Saffir Simpson scale, and the Fiji Meteorological Service estimates 10 minute sustained winds of 115 knots and a pressure of 925 millibars, which does mean it is still a Category 5 on the Australian scale. Thankfully, Kevin is expected to move away from any remaining land masses that might be impacted by it, so we won't really be doing any updates on this in the future. That's all for today. Feel free to join us and subscribe. Click the link below. We'd really appreciate it. And we also do have a Discord server. It's a wonderful community. I really do recommend joining. We have events, and you can also chat with uh, the entire Advective Weather team, including myself and the rest of our members. And we'd really appreciate it if you join. So that's all for today. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.